Hello everyone. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well today. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How are we all doing today? Today we're going to be in our modded Clovervale world and we're going to be working on some decorating the pathways and well we're going to have to mine a little bit as well because we need to get some more coal but we have to uh, light up our area as well because there's so many creepers. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I'm so so excited and let me know are you guys excited new series starts on Saturday who is excited put a one in chat if you're excited. I want to see a whole, just all ones, just all ones. But hello everyone. I'm so excited. I hope everyone's doing so, so good. Oh, here we go. Turn this back on. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I see so many ones. You guys are all excited. I'm excited too. It's it's going to be a really, really fun series. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's just going to be a mini series, but I hope you guys have a good time with it. Uh, Serena, I'm not taking any build suggestions right now, but um, thanks for the suggestion. Maybe at some point. But like I said, today we're just going to take it chill. We're going to be making some pathways around our lake. And we're also going to be putting out a bunch of street lights because, I mean, look at the right there. There's already mobs. Oh my goodness. But I missed you guys. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a new series, Haley. New series, kind of a surprise. Um, but it's a collab series. Me and another person are collabing in this series. So I hope you guys are going to be able to enjoy that. I remember you, Kylia. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh no, Queen Minty. I hope that you feel better soon, lovely. Oh, by the way, chat, I think my mob sounds are off. Let me turn those back on. Also, does anyone feel like my controls are off? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I like reset my DPI or something. It is modded. It is modded. Is your bow flashing? It is. It's a rainbow bow. It's so cutie. <laughs> it's the best bow ever. Aw, Bimo, you're sitting in front of the heater. Oh, that's that's so cozy. That's so comfy. I love that. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and sleep. Also, I need to put my mob sounds back on. Yeah, that we'll put them on like 19%. And then we'll then we'll get started. The chaos is inevitable. There's already chaos in the first episode. <laughs> there is already chaos in the first episode. Oh. My day was good. I went out and got some food um, because my groceries actually come tomorrow. And I forgot that I didn't have food at home. So I actually went out and got some food. Um, but yeah. We just had uh, some takeaway. Do you have shaders? I am using shaders. I'm also playing modded. And all the stuff that I use is in the description if you guys are interested. Okay, let's grab all of this copper as well. I want to build with copper so badly. Chat, force me to build with copper at some point. When will you post a new episode of the Hardcore Bacottish Core series? Um, it's coming. I'm trying to work on a project that's taking me about 100 days in the video, but um, it, it's coming maybe in the next couple of weeks. I'm trying to make it perfect, you know? Do you have any recommendations for people who want to get into modern Minecraft but don't know how to do any of it? Um, I think it's really interesting to play along with like a YouTuber like Chosen Architect or so. Um, that's how I kind of got into modern Minecraft, but also finding packs that have quest lines like all the mods or 
like um, Enigmatica or Better Minecraft. I think those are those are good ways to get into modded Minecraft because they kind of like show you how to get into it without like you know doing everything for you I guess. Oh I forgot to get sticks. That's okay we just need to get coal. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to build anything with steampunk vibes. Oh, that's that's the spidery area over there. We're not going to go over there. Um, I do just want to take one torch, though, for my offhand. Get into create. Yeah, I guess create is um, <laughs> it is one of those mods, you know, um, <laughs> not my favorite, but I understand why people like it. Do you need a really good PC for mods? I mean, it depends on what you're trying to run and it really depends on your computer. There's a path you made and put on Pinterest a while ago with green, brown and gray pathway blocks and mushroom stuff. Oh, that was my first. Okay, Haley, that was my first ever Twitch world. I streamed that world when I first started streaming on Twitch. It was my first ever content world. I love that pathway so, so much, but uh, we'll <clears throat> we unfortunately uh, passed away there in that world. RIP. RIP Froggy from that world. Kaylee, I remember you, love. I remember you. Blueberry, welcome in. Misha, welcome in. Lidwin, hello, hello. How's it going? Ow, don't be rude to me. I am a baby. Strawberry, this um, this series is just a stream series, and I also make long plays in this world. So, if you check out some of my latest videos, you'll be able to see the the long plays for this world where we started it. But this is mostly just a stream and have fun series i get to hang out with you guys while we're in this world serena i've already mentioned that i'm not taking um i'm not taking any build suggestions thank you though my day was really really good okay chat listen listen i have to tell you guys something there are two videos scheduled on the channel one comes out this weekend and then there's another one scheduled for like 10 days after. Who is she? I have been in my content era chat. I have been making videos. I have, and I started another video today. I started another brand new video today. Like, are you guys proud of me? I am in my content era chat. Who knew that the, the the girly who does YouTube would actually do YouTube? Oh, I'm a long guy. I love that. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for telling me. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the the uh, the content. All right, there's a creeper. Oh, all right. I think we have enough coal to make some of our lanterns and stuff i hope we have enough iron <gasps> should we should while we're down here should i just get this iron since i can fortune it now yeah and then we can smelt some although i mean that i guess that's gonna use some of our coal <gasps> danny thank you so much for the three dollars that is so so sweet thank you so much i hope you've been well disconnect watching me like disconnect is one of my og viewers chat disconnect has been here for almost three years and disconnect has been there through the ups and downs through the times where i was like oh yeah i'm definitely making a video and then i disappeared for five months can we just get some love in chat for disconnect like standing there like a proud parent you know oh bruh Ew. that could have been bad it's okay serena it's not a problem that your internet's slow <gasps> oh 
I'm just saying I've already um I've already mentioned that I'm uh, not taking build uh, recommendations, but thank you. Hi, Shade. Welcome in. How's it going? I know. I'm so so excited. Smallest speed. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy the the new series. I've been working really really hard on it, and I'm I really really I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's actually been a lot of fun. How's it going, Danny? Thank you so much once again for the three. I love the little corgi sticker. It's so cute. What are we doing? We are currently just doing a little bit of iron and coal mining. And then we're going to be doing some decorating and pathway making and deciding where all of our future builds are going to go. All right. What's your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is actually brown. Although I do like green and pink as well. I'm also a big fan of purple. But brown is my favorite color. It's just so beautiful. So warm. No worries, Serena. Have a good one. Yo, Inky Coven. Hello, hello. Now, how, how have you guys been? It's been a week since I last saw you guys. What have you been up to? What did you get up to this week? What program do you use for your editing? I use Adobe Premiere, but if I was starting out like for the first time, I would probably get into DaVinci Resolve. Aw, Dis, thank you. I know, I know. You are here for the, the farts and everything else. Brown is such an underrated color, honestly. It's so good. Light blue. Oh my gosh. Light blue is such a good color. No worries, Inky. Thank you so much for lurking. I have a question. How do you build the path so cute? Um, honestly, just practice. Just just placing blocks and removing whatever you don't like. That's been what pretty much works for me. I know it probably doesn't work for everybody, but that's pretty much what I've done. There we go. Get some of that stuff. I gotta take the redstone too, right, chat? Because we know I will need it. And then I'll have none. Yeah, I use Premiere Pro for editing. Oh, you like the ones where I don't talk? The long plays without commentary? See, no one no one really liked those. That's why I don't make them anymore. But I'm thinking about putting out another one pretty soon. Um, just because it'll be uh kind of like a quick one-off video, you know? Just for those those peeps who do prefer the no commentary. I try to I try to always take into consideration what people like. This is your first time in the live stream? Well, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I got a job this week. <gasps> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Hippie Chick. Everyone give a big GG over to Hippie Chick for the new job. Love that for you. No, it's okay. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Yo, Grayson. Hello. Oh my gosh. Wait, you're a gardener, zombie villager. You're so cute. I don't want to hurt him. Wait. I don't, I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> no, no. Can I pick you up? I don't think I can pick you up. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to run. Are you thinking about making another movie? I have. I just don't have any series that have um, been going on long enough to make a movie. Although I'm almost there with my hardcore series. So once we hit a thousand days in the hardcore world, which should happen after the next episode that I'm making, um, I'll definitely be making a hardcore movie. And the the series that I'm going to be starting this weekend will probably get made into a movie as well. True, Ripton. True. I agree.
agree. I like both. I like the no commentary and I like the commentary ones. Yeah, I think I'll put out a no commentary one pretty soon. The next one that's going to be coming out is a commentary one. And it's just a one-off like vanilla or a Mizuno's one. And then we'll do another modded one as well. Okay. Oh, we have quite a bit of stuff. All right, let's head out. There's a new series coming out. Yeah, I, it starts this weekend. I am so, so excited. It's just a mini series though. So, you know, just keep that in mind. It's not going to be going on forever. I think we'll probably end up doing like eight episodes at the max. I gotta go, I'm at work. Yeah, no worries, have a good one. Thanks so much for stopping in while you're at work. Hope you have a good day. All right, here we go. Back up. I know, I'm so excited for the movies as well. Mitsuri, hello, hello, welcome in. Um, I don't say hi to people, I'm so sorry. I, I've been ignoring that. For a little bit just so you know I, I just don't say hi to random people just saying can you say hi to me we i, I don't do that stuff sorry <gasps> cutely redeems a small toot sky thank you so much for the 10 you didn't have to do that my love thank you so much that is so so sweet what pick, uh, pickaxe um, enchantments do I have? I have Mending, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, and Efficiency 5. That's what I've got going on on this one. We did a little bit of grinding last time to upgrade our gear. Guys, please don't share personal information in the chat. Just a, just a reminder, please don't share personal information. Hi, Leo. Welcome in. How you doing? Instead of spending the money on Valo, you spend it on Frog. Hi, Lona. Welcome in. I love your voice. Thank you so much. How's it going, Lona? Hope you've been having a wonderful evening. Hope you had a good dinner. Oh, oh. Well, all right, we, we need to get out of here before I keep staying down here for my entire stream and we don't decorate anything. Yo, Sienna, welcome in, lovely. I love these lives, they're so chill. I really enjoy these kinds of streams as well. I watch a lot of YouTube streams lately. Oh, <gasps> Shroud, welcome in. Oh my gosh, imagine seeing you at a time that's probably better for you than our normal time. Are you wearing a hat or is that your elytra? I'm wearing a hat. It's just, um, it's like a little RGB ribbon. It's so cute. But I haven't been, um, I haven't been to the end in this world. I don't know if we'll go to the end in this world. I guess if you guys want to, we can, but there's no pressure on my side to go. So I'm just having fun building up this little town with you guys. To be honest, I prefer movies. I totally understand that. Yeah, they, they just take time to, to make. Okay, wait, hold on. Do we have any, any coal, any easy coal to get? I got lost in here once and I had to cut it out of a long play because I had to literally just dig up. Is this on easy mode? I think that we're on normal. Oh, we are on easy. We are on easy. It doesn't have to be on hard or hardcore all the time. And we do play a lot of hardcore as well. Oh, hello? Excuse me. Oh, there's some coal. Do you edit your movies a lot? I mean, um, I cut out like the intros for each episode.
Oh, chat, I said that we were gonna go and start decorating and now here I am mining more iron and copper. I don't know, I'm just so inspired. Please don't spam. That's one way to get banned, just so you guys know. Please don't spam. Oh yeah, smallest. I always have that as well, where like people will go strip mine and then they find like diamonds every 12 seconds. Like Sev always finds diamonds. And then there's me. I, I strip mine for two hours and I get four redstone blocks. Four. I was screaming, crying, throwing up. Okay. I felt in that moment like I was like, I'm never playing Minecraft again. You know what I mean? That gravel wanted to say hi. True. True. Okay. How do I get out of here? See, this is what happened last time. I got lost. I'm so scared, guys. Help. Is it this way? Nope. Maybe? What if we spam how much we love you? Don't do that either. Don't spam. No spamming. And also no loving. And no watching the stream. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How long have you had a YouTube? I started my YouTube in 2021, but I didn't actually start posting like, um, Let's Plays until 2022. But I just did a Q&A video. If you guys are interested in watching, it takes you through my whole journey to become a YouTuber. So if you guys are interested in watching, I just uploaded that like last week. Yo, waffles! The only thing that keeps me going in a strip mine is the idea that diamonds are right where I was about to stop. <gasps> did you see that? That thing that Minecraft posted? Where it was like two people in a tunnel and it was like, don't give up. And then they like, it had the diamonds right after where that guy was like stopping mining. One time my friend and I had a strip mine competition, both with fortune three. He got a stack of diamonds and I got five. That's so real. <gasps> beans. Oh my gosh. So good to see you beans. How are you doing? I'm so scared. What is that sound? Hello? Is that fishes? <gasps> There's an axolotl! Hi! So cute! What do you mean? Oh my god, was the axolotl killing all the fish? Oh my god. Oh my god. That was just absolute murder. Okay, we're, we're getting out of here. We're, we're getting out of here. This axolotl is causing trouble to the natural population. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have. Oh my God! Look at all this. Look at all the ore we got. Hold on now. Hold on. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm doing good. I'm so glad to hear that you're doing good, Beans. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for for saying that. Thank you so much for stopping in as well. Oh my God. So good to see you. I think I saw another. Yeah, I don't have another bucket though. I only have one bucket, so we'll have to come back down to get another one, but that's okay. We'll come back down later. All right, let's head up to the top. Oh yeah, happy Ramadan. Absolutely. Hope everyone is having a good time so far. For everyone fasting, hope it's going well. What were you the most excited about when you decided to move to the Netherlands? That me and my partner would be in the same time zone, Holly, for sure. <laughs> my partner and I were long distance for so long and he was six hours ahead of me. So it was really, really tough there for a while. Hello. Hello, kitties. Wait, guys, we never named our cats in this world either. We probably should. Oh, also, we should probably go downstairs so we could actually smelt. What are the pink things? These thingies? These are azalea flowers from twigs. I think you can take them off of 
like the azalea leaves they are kind of cute i don't know what we're gonna use them for but for now we'll just kind of put some in here oh we already had some in here as well yeah no i totally get it being busy it makes so much sense okay let's go in here we'll do some of that iron there we go oh whoops i did not mean to do that coal but look how much stuff we got okay let, let me put all of that away we'll just throw everything else with our double click magic <gasps> look at that oh we should probably also make some more hamburgers before we start decorating because we are almost out of food this is literally all we have left. Have you eaten anything adventurous where you live now? Um, I've tried a bunch of Dutch food. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It's very similar to like food that my family made growing up because my grandparents, um, their parents were from um, Europe as well. Oh my gosh, princess, I'm wishing you so much luck. I am wishing you so, so much luck in moving to Sweden. And I hope you find out your residence permits results soon. You should name the cat Tony. Oh my gosh, Tony is such a a, a good name. Hold on. We we have two name tags, so we can we can name the other cat too. Wait, do I have enough iron to make an anvil? Oh, we have plenty of iron. Why did I even go mine iron? um wait where's my oh i guess we have this <gasps> oh my gosh not all not all this coarse dirt that i was hiding in there okay no one sees that no one saw that that was a mess i blame um lona no worries leo have a good one are you staying hydrated i do have water on my desk with me i always am drinking while i'm streaming do you prefer to stream on Twitch or YouTube? Um, I think that they both have good and bad. Um, I like doing these fun streams with you guys on Wednesdays, but I also like my Twitch streams. Wait, does YouTube have, a, have polls? Can we do a poll? Oh, it doesn't. <gasps> I'm so sad. Sorry. Sorry for that random poll message in chat. I thought that they had polls just like on um, Twitch, but they don't. Are you excited for the next update in Minecraft? I am so, so excited. I am so excited. I can't wait. Honestly, I'm so happy that they still update this game. I'm so ready. I'm getting ready to move to the States and I'm so stressed and anxious about it. Uh, oh, to move states. Yeah, it's um, it was a big commitment for sure. Um, I'm happy that I did it. Although, I mean, there are there are days where it's tougher, and I do sometimes miss home. But for the most part, it's you know, it's fine. I guess that's the same if you move anywhere, right? You're always gonna have that part of you that wants to be where you aren't. Yeah, sorry. I was trying to make a poll so we could vote on the other cat name, but I don't think YouTube has polls. Twitch does, and that that's why I thought YouTube might. <laughs> if you like baked beans, question was so random and funny. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. It was a good question, though. Oh, the worst thing about moving is having missing snacks. I agree with that. Sometimes it's like, it's expensive to like import snacks if you try to do that. But um, also when you, when you have that like craving for something that you could easily get back home that you like suddenly can't get now, you're like, ah, oh, why am I not home right now? You know? 
<laughs> the what's your favorite toothpaste made me laugh so much. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, like what? I think we can make these all into, yeah, stone brick walls. And then this is the light post recipe that we're gonna be using. So chat, look at this. This is gonna be our street lamps. Oh, whoops. Do you guys like them? I think that they're so cool. I miss living with my parents. Yeah, there are times where I really miss living with mine as well. Cheez-Its and gummy worms. Oh my gosh, Cheez-Its. My partner had never had Cheez-Its before, before like we visited the US um, last summer. And now he's obsessed with Cheez-Its and he's like, why don't we have Cheez-Its? I'm like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know, bestie. I'm like, I'm sorry. And then he's like, but there's no Cheez-Its. When can we get Cheez-Its again? I think it's just so funny, you know? Never thought that that would be something that he would like in a million years, but he ended up loving them. I don't, I don't remember how, hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Cat names, chat, give me some cat names. Name the other cat. I miss the free food, that's real. We need some cat names, chat. So if you guys have a couple, I don't know how many options I can put. I can only put four options. Bard, welcome in. All right, and then I also want to make some benches. I know that we have, I know we have a couple of options. So definitely want to make some of these, I think. Beans, okay. Pickle. Jalapeno and um, hazel. Okay, okay, those are the four options. All right, chat, vote for your favorite option. Um, I'm giving you guys two minutes, two minutes to vote. This is a close one. They're all pretty much the same. Oh, Alfie, the, the cat is orange. He's a little orange cat. That's true. Wait, wait, wait. All half of the names are all food names. <laughs> so true. So true. Also, Pickle is so funny because Mr. Beardstone had a horse named Pickle, but unfortunately he, um, uh, well, RIP Pickle. We miss you, Pickle. Come home. Oh, that's, that's right. Anyways, never mind. Gotta do it March Madness style, too close. It is really close. Although one is definitely winning now. One is definitely winning now. Got like maybe 30 seconds left chat. Garfield would have been perfect if that's true. Garfield would have been a good choice. Is Pickle with wings? Pickle and wings are up together. <laughs> Okay, that that was god awful. I can't believe you made me think about wings right now. I'm so wings. I miss you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about what happened to you. It wasn't my fault. It was Lona's fault. All right, chat. It's official. Hazel is the winner. Hazel is the other cat's name. 
GG. Thank you guys for all the great suggestions. So now Tony and Hazel are hanging out upstairs. Peanut is a cute name. That's true. Yo, Zuzi. Hello, hello. All right, there you go. Hazel. Hazel is sniffing the catnip chat. And this one is Tony over here. Hazel is cute. Although, I mean, jalapeno and beans and pickle also would have been fine. All right. So I want to make this bench. Hold on. Where was it? It was right here. So what do these look like? <gasps> oh my gosh. These are so cutie. Stop. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We're like an old person in the park. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at the rainbow. All right. Let's go get some more food. Then we'll cook and then we'll start decorating. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, There's a restaurant here in the Netherlands that serves steak that I really, really like. But it's a pretty local place, so I don't want to I don't want to say the name to dox myself, but there's a like a really good steak place. But in the US, I really, really liked Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Yeah, I figured, uh, Zuzi, I figured. Hi girl, welcome in. How you doing? Lucy, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Might as well just name it Taco Cat. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember the old, like, no commentary long play world? We had a donkey named Burrito. I miss him. I hope he's well. Do you guys think he moved on without me? <laughs> I love Thai food. Oh my gosh, Thai food is so good. Garlic or ginger? Um, I like ginger and I like garlic, but I think I like garlic more. They're both good though. They're both so good. Oh, Suki, no problem. Thank you so much for suggesting it. It was very, very cute. I liked pickle a lot. Do you have a favorite singer? Um, I have a couple of really like favorite artists, um, Joji, Bad Sons, Taylor Swift. I don't know, a bunch of different people that I really, really enjoy listening to. He's like that dog in Futurama, stop. No, not the dog from Futurama. Oh my God, I, I literally sob, scream and cry every time I see that episode. I haven't watched Futurama in a long time. I actually should do a rewatch. Is it a mod pack? I am playing a mod pack and all the mods are listed in the description if you guys are interested in grabbing them for yourself. It's a custom mod pack. You will have to put it together yourself. Um, unfortunately, I cannot put it on Curse Forge because it has mods from Modrinth as well. So you guys have to download them yourself, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries, Twilight Gal uh, Galaxies. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Garlic would have been a good name. Garlic would have been a good name. I agree with that. Okay. So we have tomatoes. We have cabbage. Okay. We need some wheat for bread. Burrito's fine. He's a king. True. He was a king. Also, chat. I have so many cows. Look at how many cows are in there. <laughs> there's so many cows. This is not ethical. Look, there's they're 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 fading into each other. <laughs> Look at the amount of sheep. Oh my god, Chad. This is not ethical. This is we we have to ignore it. We have to ignore it because I'll feel bad. <laughs> Garlic would have kept the vampires away, aka Santa. Oh my gosh, is this a Christmas village reference? I can't believe Santa turned out to be a vampire. 
It was the turn of the century. We we had no idea that he would be a vampire. <laughs> They're all crying for help. I you know what? You're right. Will it change anytime soon? Probably not. It's time to walk Dorito. <laughs> Stop. Oh man, uh, I had to walk Dorito in my in the video that I was recording and I felt so bad. <laughs> oh lady, welcome in. How you doing, lovely? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. The poor the poor cows. <laughs> I want to tell a fact about moths because I like sharing. Do you know the reason why they're attracted to light is because they think it's the moon? <gasps> That's so cute. I mean, I'm, I would do the same thing, honestly. The moon is so pretty. Is anyone else like obsessed with taking pictures of the moon when it's like super big and bright? Is that just me? Do we all do that? Or like anytime you see a big moon, you're like, oh my God, look at that moon. I even do that in video games. Hi, Teresa. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I'm watching you from India. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I always text my friends. You're like, oh my God, have you seen the moon right now? Go outside and look right this second. Yeah, no, so true, so true. My cameras are not great. Although I have seen some really great photos of the moon from like iPhones. I don't know how these people are doing it. It's like magic. Like how are, how are they doing that? I don't really know much about photography though. I know a little bit, but not too much. So true, Abby. Anyone ever have fights with siblings about whose moon it is? Like, one of you is claiming the moon. Okay, that's that's like big energy right there. Um, not usually. No. My my siblings and I had fights over whose turn it was on the PlayStation. That was usually what we were fighting about. <laughs> Yo, Harriet, welcome in. How you doing? Okay, let's grab some of this lettuce. And then, oh my gosh, we have, look at how much meat we have from walking Dorito. Like no, <laughs> no joke. <laughs> no joke, we have stacks and stacks of meat from walking Dorito. It's actually ridiculous. <gasps> Did you like it, Cassie? Oh my god, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. The lasagna soup was so, so good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Me and my partner are actually making that tomorrow night for dinner. <laughs> we are so excited. It's like our favorite thing. We are like, we are genuinely obsessed with it. Okay, let's put down this. Get to chopping. Where are you from? I live in the Netherlands, but I'm originally from upstate New York. Mystical Orca, welcome in as well. Hello. I hope you're also having an excellent day. Sorry, one sec. One sec, chat. I have to sneeze. Yeah, no worries, Beans, no worries. Do you like mac and cheese? I love mac and cheese. <laughs> Emphasis on the upstate. Yeah, so true, so true. <laughs> no, I'm from, I'm originally from New York. 
Um, not from the city. Although I've been there a few times. Oh. Oh man. I, um, well, I guess we have to make a new knife. Can you put mending on those? Should we make a diamond one? Probably, right? Debating on whether or not I want to make a new Star Stardew game. Um, do you mean for the update? The update's coming out, like, very, very soon. How do you make a knife? Oh, like that. Okay, so we only needed one diamond. Your house is so cozy. Thank you. My teacher lives in upstate New York, close to Canada. And he always jokes about riding a moose to school. Stop. I've never seen that. I have seen people ride a tractor to school. And then they ran over a girl in the parking lot with the tractor, but she was okay. Like they didn't like run her over too bad. Like that sounds so horrible. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Anyways. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's true. If you're on console, it will take longer. Yeah, she was okay. It was she it was like over her foot. You know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't too bad. It was it wasn't too bad, okay? It wasn't, like, the worst thing. Well, I mean, I'm not- I'm not the person who got ran over. Maybe it was bad, but... She was back at school the next day. I mean, it couldn't have been that bad, right? Hi, Jills! Welcome in! I want to play Stardew, but I'm so slow at making progress. I would definitely still try it out. Even if you're slow at making progress, Stardew is one of those games you can, like, play at your own pace. Speaking of which, on the second channel, on Froggy 2, I'm going to be starting a Stardew playthrough. Um, I'm going to start filming after the new update comes out, and it comes out in, like, six days. So, I'm so excited. I'm... It's not going to be out for probably a while because I'm going to have to record a ton. But I'm really, really, really excited. It was like in between, Alfie. It wasn't like a tractor tractor, but it was not as small as like a lawnmower tractor. It was in between. It, it was bigger. Like it, you had to drive it on... The, the road. It was too big to fit on the sidewalk. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna be making a, a series for the second channel on Stardew Valley. What are you most excited about in the new update? In the new Minecraft update, probably the wolves and also the crafter. I'm so excited about both of those. Have you ever played Sims or Animal Crossing? I have played both. Um, I don't make content on either one, though, because both of them don't really, like, catch my attention the way that other games do. But I do really like both um, Animal Crossing and um, The Sims as well. Hi, Glagoth. Welcome in. How's it going? Okay, there we go. We're making some hamburgers, Glagoth, so I figured you'd like that. Oh my gosh. I actually don't think that I can cook all these because I can't watch it. All right, here we go. 
Do I have a shovel? I thought I had a shovel. Where is it? What's your last favorite Minecraft update? Um, do you mean like my least favorite one or the last one that I really enjoyed? Because I've enjoyed them all pretty much. Be honest, Minecraft or Stardew? For me, Minecraft, but Stardew is like a very close second. A very, very close second. I almost became a Stardew YouTuber instead of a Minecraft YouTuber. But I just um I just prefer Minecraft for like long-term play more than Stardew. Yo, Llama, welcome in. I've never had matcha, no. I want to try it though, Queen Minty. Oh, least favorite? Um. Honestly, like. I don't know if I have a least favorite update. I feel I feel like like 110 was kind of empty, you know? Like that one I probably wasn't like my favorite. But most of the other ones have added like a ton of stuff, whether it was biomes or changing like a major mechanic or I spent five hours creating Sims, but I never play the actual game. I've played a lot of Sims. I just have a, a little bit of trouble with like long term, I don't know, like entertaining myself, I guess. Oh, they, <laughs> they, they, they just died. Okay, well. You're local, welcome in, how's it going? The village and pillage update for me. I liked the I liked the village and pillage update. But um I, I mean it wasn't like necessarily like the best update. Isn't that the one that gave us all the different trapdoors though? I don't know, spruce trapdoors are kind are kinda of worth like the village and pillage update to me. Doing good, Llama. Welcome in. Hope you're doing good as well. So if you guys are just joining us today. We are just working on some chill base and path decorating. We're trying to make a pathway all the way around our like little lake here because we're going to build structures all around the lake. And I just want to get a little bit of a head start on working on that today while we hang out and chill and vibe. Also, we have been live for almost an hour. So just a reminder for everyone, if you need to get up, stretch, Take your meds, get some water, go to the bathroom. This is a good time. Oh, do we have regular dirt as well? If you could add anything to Minecraft, what would it be? Moo blooms. Chat, I'll, I'll do it. We're getting moo blooms. If it's, if I have to go down, I will, I will do it for the moo blooms. They should make a new type of wood. I mean, we just got two new types of wood. I'm not unhappy with the amount of wood we have in the game right now. And you know what I really want? I want a purple wood that's like not lavender i don't know i want something that goes with purple i guess so maybe it could be lavender um and i really want like a like a, a green wood as well but not like a cyan i want it to be like actually green yo florally welcome in how you doing lovely All right, let's do that. Am I invisible? You didn't notice my chat. I mean, there's a lot of people chatting right now. If I don't respond to every single chat, it's nothing personal. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm only one person. <laughs> you guys are a lot of people. Like a pastel baby blue wood, Jenny, I agree. That is um, such a good idea. Like a baby blue, like sky blue or like very, very like, yeah, baby blue wood would be good as well. 
Yeah, we need we just need all the colors of the rainbow at this point. So I don't know, get on that Mojang. <laughs> Are you a plant mom IRL? Um, I would love to be, and this is going to be embarrassing for me to admit, but I, um, <clears throat> I don't have a green thumb chat. I need something like extremely low maintenance or my ADHD and I, um, will uh, forget <laughs> that it exists. It's so bad. The ability to stain or dye wood. I agree with that. That would be something that I would really enjoy. Like me personally, if we could make white stained planks, I'm in. Take my money. I'll pay. I'll pay $10.99 for an update. You know what I mean? Give me the microtransaction. I'll do it. Don't really, don't really do it, chat. Don't, don't really. This is a joke. This is a joke. I don't want to pay more money, but I'm just saying. If that if that's what it takes. Florally says I'm doing great. It's my day off. So I slept until 11. Oh, I love that so much. I hope that you have a wonderful day off. Do you have any big plans for your day? Forget or overwater, those are the two modes of ADHD plant ownership. That's a thousand percent facts. But because you forget that you watered, so then you accidentally overwater and you think that you're helping, but you're not. You're not. You're 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 drowning the plant. It wasn't even your intention. You just tried your best. But it it just wasn't enough. No plans and that's exactly how I want it to be. I feel that. I feel that. Perky, welcome in. How you doing, Perky? This is our long-term streaming and long play world. So it is still modded. I mean, we do have quite a bit of mods on here, but it is not Mizuno's. That's true. But this is our little starter house. And then over there, we have an animal barn with way too many cows. And over there, we have a little enchanting area. And we're just working on a pathway right now going all the way around our little lake area. Get rid of some of these. Oh no, not the wandering trainers chat. I don't need any of that. I, I'm stronger than you, I don't need that. Okay, let's do like a little bush area here. And then imagine sitting like overlooking the lake with your pookie. Well, I guess this isn't really a good view. <laughs> well, okay, it's it's a little bit of a good view. Chat, who, who are you guys gonna invite? Who's your pookie that you're gonna invite to the Minecraft lake? I know, I'm so excited to see all the wolves in Mizuno style. I cannot wait. What time is it in New York right now? Um, I think it's like two o'clock there, but I don't actually live in New York. I live in Europe. Hmm. 
My Pookie is Blockdown's dog. Indy? <laughs> we have an Indy fan in the chat. Okay, okay. Leon Kennedy, stop. I will start barking. Woof, woof, woof. Leon Kennedy, are you joking? Also Leon Kennedy? Okay, I did, wait, hold on, chat. I did not realize that we had so many Leon fans in this chat right now. Are you, are you being serious? I do like <laughs> Zuzi not even funny. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so old. Um, I do like Resident Evil. Resident Evil was one of the first games that got me into gaming. Um, I actually just streamed Resident Evil 4 in my Discord for like the YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. Sometimes in there we do a little you know, extra stream. Currently we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn and we just also played Sons of the Forest. Um, but we also finished the Resident Evil 4 Remake. And I think after the Horizon Zero Dawn, we're gonna do Resident Evil 7, which I am so scared for chat. I'm not even joking. What's the texture pack called so that the plants move? Um, It's just my shaders and those are complimentary shaders. Oprah, there we go. <laughs> Shay, Shay's like, actually Leon's now my pookie. <laughs> oh my gosh. He has no close competition, that's so real. Not even wither skeletons. And wither skeletons are like my number one all time. My first love. Yo, William, welcome in. How you doing? Okay, but Bard, like Joe Biden, though. I mean, no, <laughs> no worries. As small as me, to have a good one. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Wait, wouldn't it be cute if we built like a little? shrine for our waystone right here have you ever seen the resident evil movies i saw the first one um but honestly i didn't watch much much after that just because i don't i haven't seen that many movies oh jenny yeah the, these are from macaws lights and lamps and there there's a whole mod list in the description love sorry if i missed that before i am so so sorry charlie like charlie swan Oh my god, chat, stop. Now now we're speaking the same language. Charlie Swan was not the love that Bella needed, obviously, because that was her dad and ew. But like the love that we all needed? When, when are we getting a Charlie spinoff? Like We need to see Charlie at ASAP, ASAP chat. I'm not sure what you're asking friends. I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. A sun shader for the waist and oh, that's possible. That's possible. Oh, sorry, chat here. Let me put some torches in the offhand. 
I just need more dirt, so we're gonna have to get it from down here. What about Joel? Um, like smallish beans? I mean, he's a he's a married he's a married man. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. No worries, adorbs. Have a good one. Enjoy the food. Oh, <gasps> gender bartender. Oh my gosh. Hello. Very nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome in. Welcome in. Have you watched Gilmore Girls? Um, I've never seen Gilmore Girls. No. I heard it's the ultimate like fall show, but I don't watch that much TV. If I'm going to be honest... I like, um, I'm trying to read more than watch TV. And if I do watch TV, I usually like rewatch The Office. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Joel from The Last of Us. Chat, I thought you guys meant Smallish Beans. Oh my God, I'm so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love you, Smallish Beans and LD Shadow Lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought, that, when I thought Joel, I immediately thought I, uh, Anyways, moving on. Moving on. I'm uh, good. At, I'm on spring break right now. Nice, nice. I have three tests tomorrow, so this is nice to have on while I study. Oh my gosh, good luck. Sarah, I hope the tests go well. I'm so sorry that you have so many on the same day. That is awful. But good luck, good luck. I hope it goes super good. I, it's chat. I am. I. I am. I'm feeling really silly right now. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Okay. Need more dirt. Evil question: Claire Redfield or Ada Wong? Ada Wong. Claire is also really great, but I mean, Ada has like bad B energy, you know what I mean? I mean, Claire has it as well, but she's like a little bit more innocent to me. Whereas like Ada, I just, I don't care if she betrays me, I'm in love. I finished my master's thesis today. Let's go. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. GG Perky Parrot. Can we get some, can we get some GGs in chat for Perky? That is incredible. Like genuinely, I'm so happy for you. I can't lie and say I'm doing anything productive. Work is slow right now. So I'm just killing the next 45 minutes. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Do you have any plans for uh, the rest of your day, though, Alfie, after you get off work? <gasps> the boyfriend's getting Chinese food. Oh, my gosh. Yes, let's go. Me and my partner just had Chinese food last week as well. It was so good. Oh, I like this song a lot, chat. This song is such a vibe. Oh, bruh. I'm feeling silly, a little bit silly, you know? <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit like my brother Cletus is gonna come to town. Oh, sorry, chat. Sorry, if anyone hears me speaking with a Southern accent, it's because, okay, so my stepmom is Southern and I have like, Anytime I think about her, I start to talk in her accent. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I also lived in the South for a while as well. And I'm a person who picks up accents. Like when I was, um, when I was in college or university, I had a friend that was from Brooklyn and I had for a while such an angry New York City accent and I've like, I never lived there. It was so funny. Like what, who was I?
Cletus is the favorite child. Cletus would be the favorite child. <laughs> I just... I just wanted Grandpa to love me one time. I asked for chicken and I got told no. <gasps> Who said no? Did Momo say no? We're gonna have to fight Momo. We're gonna fight Momo with our bare hands. Speaking of Chinese, I made vegetarian mapo tofu the other day and I highly recommend it to anyone wanting to delve into the Szechuan uh, cuisine. <gasps> Was it good? That does sound really, really good. Oh my gosh. We're gonna, we're gonna fight Momo with our bare hands. How's it going, Steps? Welcome in. Yeehaw crafting. Howdy, partner crafting. Okay, let's head up. I think that we have enough dirt to continue on our little adventure. When I lived in Romania, a group of kids would always try to do American Southern accents, but while speaking Romanian, and it was the most cursed thing. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> I love that so much. Hope you're doing well, Steps. Welcome in. Welcome in. How do I get up here? Oh, I'm so happy to be streaming today. I missed you guys. I know I say that every week, but I did miss you guys. Sometimes I think about doing a random stream, but then I'm like, would would the girly pops actually like if I did this or would they be sad? All right, let's fill all of that in. Okay, I think we can finally get rid of some of these torches as well. They're not very girly pop. They're honestly actually kind of ugly, but that's okay. I would live for a random stream. Okay, the next time I think about randomly streaming, I'm just going to do it. Okay, that looks so, so much better than how it looked like 20 minutes ago. Dog or cat? I like both. I'm allergic to cats though, so sometimes I have to be careful, you know? Because my allergies will um, <clears throat> make me regret spending too much time around cats. But I do like cats. I'm often told that I have orange cat energy. Um, I fully wholeheartedly believe that, actually. But I have both. My, my partner and I have both cats and um, a dog. When slash where did you say you were streaming Horizon? So if you're a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber or a Discord supporter, I stream that in the Discord, but it's here and there um, whenever I have time. So sometimes it's on Tuesday nights or Thursday nights. Sometimes I'll do like a random weekend stream. Why does it look so satisfying with the lamps? It does look a lot better. It looks a lot more put together as well. I also need to like move this like rice over to the other area, but that's not a big deal. Okay. Move all of that as well. The 
of flax seeds. We need to go get all the sugar cane. But that can't stay there, chat. I like these though. I wonder if we can bone meal those. I think those are so pretty. I have a little chihuahua. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. So sweet. My my dog's a corgi. His name is Dorito. You guys will probably hear him bark from time to time if you come to streams. He's a menace. Oh, bruh. I don't actually like that right there. Hold on. Maybe like back one. That's probably better. And then this tree is going to have to go because part of this hill might have to go. Yeah, Dorito's a corgi. There's a picture of him in my 100k Q&A video. If you guys go to the personal life questions section, I put a picture of my cat and Dorito in there as well. Favorite, favorite Doritos flavor, easily flaming hot, but I like spicy chip. I'm, I'm a spicy girly. I have a German Shepherd Poodle mix. Oh my gosh. I can imagine the amount of energy that is going on at all times. Chili heat wave. Oh, that sounds amazing. Does anyone remember the roulette Doritos? Those ones were fire. Like some of them were not spicy and then some of them were like super hot. Those ones were so good. I miss those ones so bad. Is that the purple ones? I think that one's like the, the sweet and spicy chili are pretty good as well. Although I will say in Europe, the sweet and spicy chili are a little bit better. I don't know why. I don't know what it is or what they changed, but they're way better than the American ones. Okay, that's cute. Get rid of that. They have so much random stuff. It's almost my dog's birthday. She's turning five. Oh my gosh. It was recently Dorito's birthday as well. Dorito just turned three. This isn't me saying this out loud and realizing that I forgot. What kind of dog mom am I? I've been pretty busy though, chat. In my defense, I have made three videos in the last week and I started a new one today. Managed to get on Minecraft yesterday and today as boyfriend was at work. Nice. Joined a sub server too, but he was good at setting it all up for me. <gasps> nice. Did you join Wax's sub server? Chat, I cannot believe I forgot Dorito's birthday. Glygoth. Glygoth, we forgot Dorito's birthday. Um, The only doggy I have is that dog in me. I'm dead. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm deceased. <laughs> What? What did, what did you? What did I just read? What did I just read? What? Did you at least make it? I just I I knew his birthday was this month, but I forgot. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot. But I will I will get him. I will order him a puppy cake. I order it from this dog safe bakery that li that's like sort of nearby us, and I usually order him a peanut butter and sweet potato cake, and he loves that. Hello. I don't really need any of that. You can go now. Actually, you know, Mr. Wandering Trader, I just wanted to tell you, you have been selected for a random relocation project. Now, I, this is gonna sound wild. All you gotta do is get in there. Yep, okay, here we go. 
You're going to love your new place. I promise. It's going to be everything you never, ever knew that you needed or wanted. All right. There you go. Um, so you're not allowed to move the boat. Um, and you just have to live out here for the rest of your days. Bye. <laughs> Yo, welcome in. How's it going? Elizabeth Miffy. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Greetings. Is oh, are, are you Ace from the Discord? Oh my gosh. Hello. Sorry. I read that part at the end. Yo, Diamond James. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, okay. I see, Gels. I see. I'm oh, I'm so sure, Perky. I'm so sure. The the places that I've been that have been um like European standards are like just so much better. My boyfriend and I forgot about our four year anniversary. <gasps> well, that's actually so interesting that you say that because chat, okay, everybody, everybody hear me out. Today is actually a very special day in frog crafting lore because today is four years ago that I moved to the Netherlands. Oh, it's so good to see you, Ace. I hope that you've been well. Oh my gosh. Welcome, welcome. Today is my four year anniversary of moving here and I am... Um, wouldn't have done content i would not have made youtube videos if i hadn't moved here so obviously it gave me the opportunity to meet all of you and to make this channel and make videos so i'm very very thankful i literally moved on the day of the travel ban alfie like my ticket was <laughs> march 13th 2020. how how lucky slash unlucky is that? That's that was literally my moving day. It was the most stressful thing I've ever been through, by the way. Like all my flights got canceled. I almost got trapped in the airport. Like I had to like be rerouted to other countries that I'd never been to before. I was genuinely like sobbing the entire time. I was like, there's no way. Do you still have the ticket? I do. Um, so I have all of the tickets from when I visited and when my partner visited me, I have like a little scrapbook. <laughs> um, but it's, I like partially keep them because of, um, like memories and stuff, but also like for immigration and stuff, we had to prove that like we were in a relationship. So we had to like show all the times that we'd visited and how long we'd been dating. And it was like a little bit stressful, obviously, like, I understand that there's a reason why those things happen, but I had never like proven my relationship with somebody before, like legally in a sense. So it was like, I'm glad that I had all that stuff, you know? <laughs> what Minecraft version am I playing? I am playing on Minecraft 120.1. Oh my gosh, can all of that go away? Yeah, and well, like, I'm a big journaler as well, so I had to submit, like, months of my journal entries that, like, had personal information because they wanted to see that, like, we'd been talking for as long as we said we had been talking and stuff. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> there's some spicy details in here that, like, I'm not, like, comfortable with you guys reading, but I had to submit them anyways. <laughs> not, like, spicy, spicy chat, but, like, personal details, you know what I mean? Um... Facebook official was not enough. No, it literally was not. We had to like submit all of the photos of us that had been taken, especially ones that had other people like his family and my family and stuff. I was just like, um, <laughs> well, okay. The Shrek book? 
there was no frog crafting in Glagoth Shrek book. I just want that to go for the record. There was no there was no Shrek book whatsoever. I don't know what Lona's talking about. But it's okay. I mean, it was worth it though, because now I'm here in a year and a half or so I have my exams and then I get to stay here, you know, forever. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. I never saw myself like moving to Europe before I met my partner. And now that I'm here, it's like, I don't know. It's like a really surreal feeling. Do I need to Google Shrek book? Don't, don't do it, Alfie. Don't do it. It's not good. It's, it's very bad. And we, we, uh, <clears throat> we forget where we are sometimes. I have to take a language exam, Susie, and I have to take like a civics exam. I've already done one part of my civics stuff, which is like, you know, taking a class on how like Dutch society works. Um, but then of course I also have to like, you know, prove that I know about Dutch society and that I actually like lived here and that I can speak the language, read, write, um, listen, all that kind of stuff. So. There's, there's a lot. I have to take exams and I've been studying really, really hard. How long have you and Glagoth been together? I think we've been together for six years this year. Something like that. Six years. I think it was also our anniversary this month, but chat, don't tell him. Don't tell him because I forgot. Wait, where the hell did this guy come from? Wait, you're a different guy. Oh my God, I just put one of you in the lake. Hello? Come here. What do you got? Oh, this is the guy from earlier. Oh, oh, hey. Um, So <laughs> imagine your worst nightmares, but then imagine it's daytime and it's beautiful and you're in the sun and you're happy and you're drinking champagne. And that's where we're going right now. <laughs> at like <laughs> at the frog crafting resort right over here. <laughs> All your dreams, I promise, will come true. All right, there you guys go. Hope you find love or don't. I don't care. No, stop. <laughs> Mystical okra, stop. Because I'm, ab I'm about to write how I fell in love with the, uh, the Twitch streamer. Because chat, he was a Twitch streamer. That's how I fell in love with him. That's how I met him. And like it, saying that out loud makes me want to throw up. But at the same time, it's kind of cute. Do you guys think that they're in love out there? <laughs> Do you think that they're in love? No, stop steps. I know it's so bad. It's so, so bad. Well, actually, okay. I'm not, I'm not saying this just to bag on him, but he fell in love with me first. So truly like I never... I don't know. I never met a person that was so upfront with their feelings before I met him. And one day he just like, he was just casually like, I'm in love with you. And I was like, oh, love you too. Like, haha. And he goes, no, no, no. Like, I'm like for real. Like, I don't know how to live without you. And I need you to know. I need to know if you feel the same. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Will you make 300 days? Um, probably not. The new the new update is coming pretty soon, and I haven't felt very inspired for that world, so I haven't played in it in a while.
I had Discord boyfriends galore until my most recent boyfriend. <gasps> That's awesome. I never, I had never long distance dated anyone. Like, obviously, like, I had been long distance with people if they had gone on, like, work trips or something, but it was always temporary. Um, I had never long distance or online dated anyone before, and it was, like, really, just, like, a really interesting experience for me. But how did he confess? Oh, no, no, so, okay, so... <laughs> I was um I was also a streamer back then. I used to stream on my PS4 and I raided him once. And he messaged me thanking me for raiding him and then we just started hanging out and talking and playing games together and then, you know, we played Fortnite and all sorts of stuff and then one day like like I guess like cuz we talked about other things as well. We didn't just talk about games. So we got like close and like he felt so close to me that it was sort of like a best friend but like more than that as well but like of course i was thinking you know he's so far away there's no way that this will like ever happen and then like a week later he was like i'm in love with you and i was like oh well <laughs> funny that you mentioned that because <laughs> um me too and he was like no, no, but I'm like really in love with you. I don't know how I'm gonna like live without you. And I was like, I, I was like, say psych right now. <laughs> like, not the e daters. Oh my god, in the Val, if we were playing Valorant back then, that would have been the, the worst. <laughs> Wayward Bard, no way. <laughs> Was uh, does anyone still Skype? I don't remember Skype. We played Fortnite, we played Minecraft, we played we played um <laughs> Stardew Valley. I always joke that we fell in love in Pleasant Park chat. Because we always used to play duos in Fortnite and we always used to drop at Pleasant Pleasant Park. That's that's how our relationship started. And then eventually, like, I met his family, he went and met my family, and now uh, we live together. And we have a dog, and we have two cats, and we're engaged. So at some point, we're also going to be married, which is just, it's such a weird thing to say out loud, you know? But, like, that's my person. He saw me in the crowd because I wasn't interested in his streams. I was reading a book, so he took me backstage. Are you One Direction pick me girling my story right now? <laughs> oh my god, Perky. <laughs> no, we were getting co cozy and tilt tilted. Oh my gosh, stop. You not only rated his stream, but also his heart. Stop. That is so cute. No, actually, okay. I'm not going to lie. When I rated him, I thought he was kind of a jerk because he was very rude to me. So I left and I never thought of him again until he messaged me. And then I was like, well, if he took the time to message me, he can't be that bad, right? Yeah, we got engaged um, two years ago. But uh, both of us are not in any, like, super big, like, hurry to get married because getting married when you have international family is a little bit complicated, you know? Because uh, I want to have my family there. He wants to have his family there. But my grandparents are getting up there in age and so, so are his. So, you know, it's also one of those things where we have to kind of balance. Basically, we're, we're coming to the idea that we'll probably have to have two weddings. Um one in the US and one in the Netherlands and whoever can come to both is invited to both but obviously like his grandparents and my grandparents will probably not be able to make both wait what did he say that was okay so he was playing a game that I was really good at and I backseat gamed him because he was getting frustrated because he kept losing on a part and I was like why don't you try like this I was like, I, I think that this is a really good skill you can try because he was getting frustrated. And then he was like, didn't ask you. And I was like, oh, OK, like, 
Guess I'll just leave. That's um that's the true story of frog and partner crafting. I almost got suspended for Skype messaging my friends on there. What? I didn't know that people even use Skype. I've used Discord since like 2016 though. Oh, during school, got you, got you. It takes a lot of planning when you have family and friends in different parts of the world, but I'm sure it's fun. Yeah, it's um, it's coming along, it's coming along. I mean, I work on our wedding playlist every single day because I am, I'm making my own playlist and my playlist will be what's played. <laughs> He's so mean, you should dump him. <laughs> no, because I was like, oh wow, I rated you and this is how you act when I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> but I, I mentioned that to him and he said, he said after that stream, he uninstalled that game and he never played it again. The, the game where I was like backseating him. No worries, Bella. He did apologize, he did apologize. But then he told me why backseating annoys him and I totally get it. I just felt bad that like I raided him and I knew what to do and he was obviously struggling. He like died over and over on the same part. So I gave him a tip. It wasn't welcome, which I get, I get. I don't know if I like how close this is, but I don't think that there's any other way we can have it. So I think we'll put a build here, right? Like, I feel like this is a good natural spot for a build. And maybe we can put it up on like, on kind of like a raised like stone wall or something right here. How did he ask you to marry him? Okay, so we were having dinner one night and it was like the middle of summer and I I had cooked and we were having wine and I was so sweaty. I remember being so sweaty, chat. And it was just like an average everyday thing. And he, he I was looking at my phone, I was reading something, he had something playing. And then I remember he switched to some music and I was like, oh, did you not like that video? And he said, yeah, I was just feeling something a little bit different. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, he said my name and then he was like, do you like our life? And I was like, what, <laughs> what kind of question is that? Like, obviously. And then like he said, no, do you like, like what we're building together? Do you like being here? Do you like being with me now that you've been here for a while? And I like, I look up at him and he was on one knee and I screamed the word yes before he could even say, will you marry me? I was just like, oh my God, is this happening right now? <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was, it's, it was a time. It was a time. Also, why are there are literally three of these guys right now? Oh, the other one left. Okay. He, he had to catch his flight back home, I think. I just, it was just such a, like, it was such a beautiful moment and like everything he said at that moment just like made me scream and cry and throw up and sob. And it was just, it was such a like a private and like personal thing that I, I just loved it. It was like the perfect proposal for me personally. Hello. Would you like to go into the lake with the other guy? Now, this guy might not look like he's anything special, but trust me, he's already scared off one potential love match. Maybe you will be the one for him. I'll let you two get acquainted. 
You guys have the same color llamas, so something to bond over. Oh, he's already uninterested. Oh my God. The real wandering traders of Clovervale. I like that he didn't do it publicly. Yeah, I mean, he asked me if I would like a public, um, like proposal because he had a, he had a very specific plan on how he would propose if I was comfortable with it. And I am like genuinely such a homebody. Like I am such a, like, I do not want attention on me, which is funny because I also stream, but like in, in real life, I'm so shy. And I was like, um, I would prefer it just to be like us. Maybe your parents could be there, but like, you know, just us would be preferable. And he took that into consideration and he just did something really sweet at home with the two of us and the dog. And I don't know, it like really means the world that he heard me, he remembered, he listened. And that's um, like how he did it, you know? <laughs> Liv, welcome in, how you doing? Love Island Wandering Traders version part two. Oh my gosh. Now chat, had he taken me to the Eros tour and proposed during Love Story, I would have forgiven him for a public proposal for that because hello, like beautiful, incredible, magical, spirit, spiritual. If you don't mind me asking, do you guys speak more Dutch or English with each other? I'd say it's about 50-50. Florally, we speak a lot of English, but that's mostly because we watch a lot of content in English, whether it's TV shows, movies, streams, YouTube, etc. But we speak a lot of Dutch at home as well to get me to have like more confidence in my speaking. I told my partner he was only allowed to do it at home or at a theme park, but the Eris tour wasn't a thing back then. <laughs> You're like, can we get a do over really quick? <laughs> That's sweet though. So how did it happen for you, Alfie? Tell us if you guys have ever been, you know, proposed to or anything. Tell me about how it went. If you want to, it's a very personal thing. So you don't have to, if you don't want to, or like, what's your guys idea of a perfect proposal for yourself? Yeah, no worries, Abby. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy lurking and enjoy the dinner. Plus, I feel like at a big concert, it's a pretty private moment. Yeah, no, it's not like the whole restaurant is looking. Yeah, that was like my fear. Or like, okay, so chat, when I was like 18, my boyfriend at the time had proposed to me in front of his entire family on Christmas Day. And, um, that was like really awkward for me because like, how can you say no to somebody on Christmas day in front of their whole family? And not only that, he had wrapped the ring in like a huge box and then a smaller box and then a smaller box. And, and it was like, like 30 boxes inside each other, bro. I was like, by the time I opened the ring, I was like, no fucking way. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to all the parents and all the younger folks for saying the F word. Um, <laughs> I, well, I felt I was 18 perky. I said yes, but I broke up with him eventually. So I, um, <laughs> It was not, it was not a great time. I was just like, oh, I, this is so unexpected. Perfect proposal for me is with Chick-fil-A and a ring pop. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see, I see. A perfect proposal for me is definitely in private. I have social anxiety. I don't need anyone looking. That's true. That's how I felt. I did not want it to be with like a bunch of people standing around watching me. We were at a special event at the King's Island and I wanted to pick with one of the special photographers because we had photo pass for the weekend and he was taking 
forever taking his bag off and I turned and I asked what was happening because I wanted a pretzel too and he was there on one knee and I was like are you serious and started crying oh that's so sweet Alfie what oh that is so so cute I love that Not all of us, like, looking at Lona's comment and then, like, just, like, slightly being, like... <laughs> I will admit I'm a huge sap. If I happened on a beach, I'd absolutely cry. Hey, a beach would be a good place. Because a beach isn't necessarily, like, super public either, you know what I mean? It could be, like, pretty private if you're on a beach still. I came here and the first thing I hear is the F word. I'm sorry, RC. I did not. I did not mean to say the F word. Sometimes I forget that we are um, on YouTube. But I am not technically family friendly. I mean, I, I've sworn before in my videos. I just always beep it out. The only way I would accept doing publicly is if we already had a conversation that we really wanted to marry. Yeah. Springing it on somebody is kind of like a little bit scary, you know? I think it's important to have conversations to, so you can level expectations with each other, you know? <laughs> Shade's probably not even listening right now. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably true. I've never been in a relationship, but a barista gave me an extra Biscoff coffee with my coffee the other day, so it felt like I've been proposed to. <laughs> Mystical, did you say yes? <laughs> That's actually adorable. I love that. Hey, and if you haven't been in a relationship, that's so valid as well. Relationships aren't everything. I mean, you know, they are a big part of life for some people, but that doesn't mean they're a big part of life for everybody. And that's so valid. Can you leave me alone? Shade, Shade exited out of the tab. If I got proposed to by somebody in, in public by somebody that I didn't want to go out with, I would say yes and then move out of the city. Fire Crackled would just straight up leave. Fire, Fire Crackled is changing their name, changing their city, changing everything. Becoming like just a figment of their imagination at that point. That's real though. Can I share a story of how my boyfriend asked me out? Feel free, absolutely. Me and Glagoth actually started really dating because we were having we were having a wine night one night on Discord and we were sharing our cam together. And we had cam straight or we had like cam chatted a few times, but like you know, just like so that we could get like more comfortable talking to each other because like we were like really good friends and we were both kind of like wine tipsy and he was like, one day you're going to be my wife. And I just started laughing and like <laughs> then then after that, we really started kind of like talking, <laughs> but it was just so cute. I remember that so well. Do you remember that, Glagoth? No, I was genuinely saying in my head, so like, what What are we? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So are we, is this serious or? Changing my name, changing my city, changing my pets. Yeah, you're teaching your pet a whole new name. Dying in pink, you know? Oh, that's that's my poodle. Um, His name's Peter. Peter the poodle. When my bakery has my order ready in the morning for pickup without me calling, I just... Oh my god, that's so true. That's so real. Sky, you go there enough that they they just know if you're coming. <laughs> they just make your order every day on the off chance that you stop in. We met when we were 14 and 15 at a campground out of state for both of us. They were my first kiss. Their dad found out us hiding and we spent like two years pen paling 
and using phone cards to phone each other pre-cell phone era. Apparently they would beg their dad to buy a specific brand of cereal bars because it came with five minute phone cards. <gasps> Stop, that's so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. Yeah, if I had like, I'm so thankful for like modern technology because if I had not, like if I didn't have access to the internet, I wouldn't have met my partner, you know what I mean? Puberty happened and we kind of grew apart. Then about 20 years later, I get a message on Facebook and it all went on from there. We've been met married for seven years. <gasps> Stop. That is so sweet. Like the one that got away, but then like time brought you back together. That is so cute. I'm about to cry. My boyfriend asked me out when we were watching Full Metal Jacket. I've never seen that movie. Is that a good, is that a romantic movie? That's invisible string stuff right there. So real, so real. I always joke that we're disgusting, like a, a, a Nicholas Sparks out, uh, book. Oh my gosh, that's actually funny. No, it's not. Oh, I've never seen that movie before. Is that like Full Metal Alchemist, but like the live action? Is that what that is, or? Um, Flory Lee says, okay, so last year my friend is walking me to class, college to be clear, and he paused and was like, hey, I really like you and whatnot and asked me out and I'd never been asked out before, but I like this guy a lot. So I kind of freaked out and I was like, um, I gotta go to math class. <laughs> and then I did and I texted him 10 minutes later that I would because my brain was short circuiting. Oh, that's cute though, Flory Lee. I'm sure he understood. He was probably nervous to ask you out as well. Something like that, maybe? Oh, okay, Bard. Oh, okay, I see. I met my husband in the ARC modding community. Oh my gosh, that's so special. I love that. Me and my boyfriend met at, on Facebook. Nice, let's go. And then you went out in the pub with friends. I love that. I saw my name quite some times. Luckily, I was um I I was saying how when we first started dating, I remember like the the very first kind of like moment that I realized that we were kind of together was that night that we were drinking wine after we played Fortnite and we were like on cam and you said to me like you said that's you're going to be my wife one day. And I was like, "Ha ha ha." ha. Meanwhile, uh here we are. My husband proposed to me at our favorite local taco restaurant, which was where we had our first date. Oh, <gasps> stop. That is so sweet, Jenny. The section that we went on in our first date was closed on the night he proposed, but that he told him he was proposing. So they let us sit in the section all by ourselves. <gasps> that is so, so cute. Stop. I'm literally going to cry. Especially a taco place and that was your first date like that's that's true love right there That's true love Hold on one sec chat I have to sneeze
Sorry chat, I had to sneeze, but then I had to like wipe my hands because I sneezed and all the sneeze juice was on me. So I had to go like wash my hands, I'm so sorry. Can we settle a debate in this chat of strangers? So I asked my husband out first, it was to a sorority dance and then a month, uh, like a month away. Then later on we had our first date at a basketball game, but he always tries to say he asked me out first and I'm like, no, no. Technically, it was a bribe because I did promise free basketball, but it was still me making the first move. If you made the first move, you asked him out. Real and true. Well, what do you call it, Lona? <laughs> what do you call it? Okay, I want to. I'm really curious. Do you not call it sneeze juice? What do you call it, Lona? <gasps> There's a cow down here. No, no. Oh man, Dorito was just needed to go outside for a sec. Oh gosh. Oh, Caitlin, I hope it goes well. Thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problems, Alfie. Good luck with the lurk. Big, big love to you, Caitlin. That was such a quick, quick dog walk. It was, it actually was, you know, sometimes he's Sometimes he needs his time, but today he really didn't. You should do a friendly building competition on the Discord. There would be a theme. I th we've done something like that before. I was actually thinking about doing that at some point if you guys would be interested. Um, but we could we could do a poll in the Discord to find general interest. I find that it has more participation when there's like a prize, but I don't know what I would give. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just walking the dog. That's all. No, no, um, <clears throat> nothing else going on. Yeah, we've definitely done um, stuff like that before though, Zuzi. I, I would do be down to do it again. Um, it just, I would have to see how many people are actually interested before I like, sub, like put actual like time and effort into it. Yo, Nugget Cat, welcome in. How's it going? So nice to see a subscriber here. A new one as well. Hope you're doing well. Okay, there we go. We've got some more coarse dirt. Chat, I thought that we were going to have enough time to get all the way around here. And we've been live for two hours and we've barely made it or like a quarter of the way around. Is that because I'm yapping or is that just like... Why does this always happen to me? I never make as much progress as I think I'm going to make. I'm going to go because I have other stuff to do. Yeah, no worries. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Florally, you thought I was still sneezing? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, that's happened to me before. And 
I will say the one thing I do really prefer about YouTube or about Twitch streams is that I feel like they disconnect a little bit less. Like I feel like on YouTube, I'm always behind and it like lags for a minute, but it does that so often. And then like if I refresh, I'm like suddenly five minutes ahead and I don't know why that happens because it's like not like my internet's bad or anything, you know? Well, okay, so I have like, um, I feel like I'm getting like pretty bad hay fever vibes lately because I have been sneezing a lot, but also like, I always feel like my eyes are irritated as well. Like it feels like I'm, somebody's cutting onions around me and they're like spicy, but like there's no onion smell. Does that make sense? And also who's cutting onions at like 8am? I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who do cut onions at 8am and power to you. Okay. Yo, Cast Panda, welcome in. How's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Love your name. Feel free to ask Kiki. I'm, um, I don't have any experience with Minecraft Realms. I've never played with a Minecraft Realm before, but maybe someone here might know. <gasps> Kiana, hi, lovely. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. How is it going? I mean, my, my eyes always get a little bit irritated with like the cats and stuff, but like lately it has been really really bad where i've had to like stop what i was doing and like completely like go i feel like wash out my eye you know what i mean no worries queen minty all good lurking is totally fine and appreciated here even if you guys aren't chatting all the time it's not a big deal if you ever have to lurk don't feel guilty about it i don't mind at all Maybe one right here. And maybe we can put another little couple of benches around here. Yo, Cassandra, welcome in. How you doing, lovely? I don't usually watch YouTube streams, but I was watching your 100 days and saw you were alive. <gasps> I hope you enjoyed the 100 days videos. I had so much fun making those and I can't wait to make another one. I don't know if it'll be in the same world, but I'm planning to make um, another 100 days video this year. If you guys would be down for that. Do you have an allergy to cats? I do, I am allergic to cats. Cat hair and cat saliva genuinely makes me very, very uncomfortable. Like my eyes itch and I get like itchy little sores and stuff. It's very, very annoying. Have to go? No worries, no worries. I've created a realm and want everyone on it to be able to cheat and being able to like switch game modes and stuff, but I can't figure it out. Everyone's listed as an operator. Um, If anyone knows how to enable cheats for people on a realm, um, feel free to answer. I have no idea, but maybe someone will. Yeah, no, we're, no, no problem, RM Silva. I am glad that you're enjoying. I hope the folding laundry goes well. You are a very powerful person for doing that. Folding laundry is always one of those tasks that I am always happy when it's over, but I never really truly enjoy doing it, if that makes sense. I'm gonna have to take away some of this lake. That's okay. We're just going to build this out a little bit. Ow! Don't be rude to me. I'm a baby. Yeah, hives. Thank you. That's the word. Hives. 
usually only if I'm coming into contact with like super long hair cats. My cats are luckily short hair cats, so I don't normally have hives when I'm around them. But sometimes after I visit my in-laws, their cats have a little bit longer hair. Um, then I, then I have like a lot of itchies, you know? Yo, Brooke, welcome in. How's it going? Are we talking about allergies? If the itching of the eyes get too bad, don't wash your eyes. Just take a shower, change clothes, and also bedding. It helps, I promise. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I mean, I change my bedding every week right now anyways. Um, well, I, I mean, I always do because we, we let our dog lay in bed with us because... Personally, I think life is too short and he's a pretty clean dog. So, you know, I don't mind if he lays in bed with us um, and I wash my bedding every week, but um, I might have to do that more often than if that's what if that if that'll help. Prize idea for the for the um building competition lurking while babysitting oh i hope it goes well good luck good luck when do you plan on doing another stardew on twitch i'll be live on twitch on friday with some more stardew valley I, um, I had to cancel a couple of streams um, in the last few weeks just because I've had to focus a little bit more on YouTube, but it was worth it, I promise, because I have two videos already scheduled to go out. Uh, one is coming out this weekend. It's a brand new series. And then I started another new video today. So I have kind of three videos ahead right now, or at least I, I will be three videos ahead. Which is good because I'm going to need the time to focus and finish up on the hard, the next hardcore video. But yeah, if I, if I'm absent for some Twitch streams, um, the discord's the best place to find information about if I'm canceling or what's going on with me. But we are, we will definitely be doing some Stardew on Friday. Emma, I hope the lunch is well. My boyfriend and I became BFFs and then he would tell me about girls he was going out with and I'd give him advice. And then um, randomly he told me that he compared every girl to me and I was everything he wanted in a relationship. <gasps> That's so sweet. What? Like lo all the, the whole time he was like searching for the perfect person and then you were like, bam, I'm right here. Wait, what is this hat? Oh, <laughs> this hat is on fire. I don't know if I like this one chat. This one's a little bit scary. Well, we'll put the bow back on. <laughs> that one's a little bit better. To make the skeleton spawner more efficient, please light up the caves around the spawner. That's that's not how spa spawners don't need to have the caves and stuff lit up around them. If you were doing like a, a general mob farm, that's different. But spider and skeleton and zombie spawners don't count the same way towards the mob cap. Okay, well, what did we come in here for? Oh, I need to make a new shovel. That's right. All right, let's go grab some diamonds here. We need to make... Wait, where is my... Oh, right. I have a crafting table in my backpack. I've got to remember that. There we go. And then we just need to go enchant this bad boy. All right. But, um, Brooke, I am actually going to be starting a, for my second channel, I'm going to be making 100 days of Stardew Valley, um, for my second channel. And I'm going to start filming after the new Stardew Valley update comes out. I don't know when I'll be done because I'm going to be doing it in my free time around the Minecraft videos and stuff. But I am going to be experimenting with some Stardew Valley content for a second channel, which I'm very, very excited for. No worries, RC. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good rest of your day. I 
I know. I can't wait for the new update either. Everything that Concerned Ape has shared so far has me so excited. Yo, Koopy, welcome in. How's it going? Firecrackled says, 100 days videos are actually so hard. Thank you for making them. I always enjoy them. You're so welcome. Stop. You are, you are so sweet for watching, honestly. I am... Um, I would not make them if it wasn't for you guys watching. So I, I appreciate it. They're, they're a lot of work, but I really enjoy them. I just, um, the main reason I stopped with the vanilla 100 days of 120 world was just cause I was running out of inspiration for that world. And I got COVID, which completely like, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I had COVID, I had COVID for like over three months and then I had bronchitis right after. Um, and I just, um, I did not, I was not doing well. Um, and it kind of just like wrecked all of like my um, momentum for that series and also like hardcore slowed down castaways I could only make four episodes for you know there was there was a lot going on at that time so just um where, oh all the petals I was like why is it snowing in here But yeah, that's the only reason that I haven't um, continued that world. But I don't know. Maybe someday I'll have inspiration again. I just don't want to. I don't want to say yes. I'll definitely be doing another one in that world and then not do it. You know, I feel bad. Frog Valley. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for the new Stardew Valley update. And I'll be looking forward to the 100 days. Thank you. Danny, I'm so excited as well. I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy. Wow, we have so much stuff already. Oh my gosh. Do I have a stack upgrade? I do not. How do I make a stack upgrade? Oh, just iron? Do I have iron? I, I can make iron. That, that much is true. And then we can get one of these. And then we can do this. Oprah, hello? And then we can do this. Oh wait. Oh, I think some of these need to be iron blocks. That's right, hold on. It's been a while since I've made these. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. And now we can put a stack upgrade in there. And when we place things back in here, yeah, way more storage space. There we go. No worries, Nugget. Have a good one. I'm still doing um, cr my crochet baby blankets, trying to fill up a box before I take it to the post office. Let's go. I hope it goes well. Hope the crocheting goes well. That's hard work. Genuinely. Sorry, Chad. I got a little bit focused there on making that upgrade. Yo, Leo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I agree with that wayward bard. I um, I definitely have tried to not force myself into doing stuff that I'm not feeling. And actually, so I started recording at the beginning of this year a 100 days in the Cobblemon mod pack video, um, which I it like, it had the brain worms. You know what I mean? It it took me over. I was so entranced with it. And then I got to like day 20 of the recording and I decided, wow, I really actually don't like this that much. Um, and I, I just, I scrapped the video. I just threw it away. And I had never done that with a video before ever. <laughs> um, so I felt like really guilty about it, but at the same time, like it just wasn't inspiring me. And I didn't want to force myself to make something that I would hate, if that makes sense. Not that I hated doing the hundred days of 120. I just, like I said, 
I um I just didn't have the inspiration after you know after I got ill and came back and yeah Oh, Glygoth, if you're um if you're listening, can you come here in a minute? How do you have mods and shaders? Um I'm using the fabric mod loader. So with fabric, you can have shaders and mods and texture packs and stuff. And everything that I'm using, oh no, this is Forge, sorry. Um, but everything I'm using is in the description. So if you um, check out the mod list, you can absolutely grab any mods for yourself. How did you manage to make a backlog of three videos? I always manage to get distracted when working. So part of it is that um, I was making videos with somebody. So I put in like four or five 12 hour days in a row um, because I had to work around somebody else's schedule. <laughs> so that's actually like not a good thing. I don't recommend doing that. If you guys are like trying to get work done, I don't recommend like cramming like that, but that's pretty much what I did. Um, so I did last week I had the 100k Q&A come out and then I have episode one of a new series coming out this weekend, the new mini series. And then I already have episode two done as well. So just working around this other person's schedule to get to the point where we were from zero to now having two episodes done, that took us about four days. I use Forge and I don't see a shaders option. Yeah, you have to get a shaders mod. Shaders aren't like shipped with Forge. So you, you have to get a shaders mod. I use Oculus. Oh, you like the, the spawner room? We made this room on, <laughs> on I was gonna say Halloween, on Valentine's Day. So it's Valentine's themed and it matches the upstairs um enchanting area i wanted this to also match like the valentine's day theme so we pop into free cam it's like a very magenta red and pink vibes and it just i don't know it's kind of cute i like it i just need to get one more level that we can enchant this shovel and continue on our work our journey This is great, not gonna lie, my back might be killing me right now, but I got a snack and a great stream. Oh, Cassandra, I hope that you feel better soon, love. Thank you so much for being here, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. But yeah, fire crackled. It was, um, it was just a lot of persistence and I tried to simplify my recording process for, I, I normally I would show different things um, and I would draw things out a little bit more, but I kind of skipped through a lot just so that it could go like pretty quickly. But um, also something that I've been doing that's helping, been helping with my productivity and keeping on track is that, I know this is gonna sound silly, I've been breaking all of my to-do lists down into easier tasks, which takes more time at the beginning of my day, but then it doesn't feel as overwhelming. So I feel like I complete more tasks during the day not because of the like the sheer number of tasks but because like if i see like make tiktok and schedule tiktok like that like makes me like have anxiety because i'm like oh my god like what am i gonna do but i've started like simplifying the way that i actually want to like make content and make reels and edit vods and download stuff and upload stuff I've simplified that into smaller steps that are a little bit easier that make the big tasks seem less. 
And I know that that sounds so silly and probably a bunch of you already do that, but I wasn't doing that. I was like, I was writing record long play instead of like breaking things down into like the tasks that I could actually do in like a work session, if that makes sense. Yo, H, welcome in. Hopefully the history less or the essay goes well. Sorry. I had to sneeze again, chat. Oh my gosh. I need to, I think I need to dust my room too. I just cleaned my room too. Yo, devil girl, welcome in. Ari, welcome in. How's it going? Are people hyped for the wolf upgrade we'll be getting in Minecraft? I am so excited. Because one of them actually looks like my my real dog. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I hope that in Mizuno's it also looks like my real dog. Let's go. We got a pretty good shovel chat. All right. Let me put this in the enchanting backpack. So we can continue on. My kiddo says, maybe you have ants in your nose. I honestly, possibly. That's a real possibility at this point. The tiny villager? <gasps> you like them? They're babies. We can go look at them again. Hold on. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. This is embarrassing. Oh my God. Um. So <laughs> I am... I am <laughs> Um, anyways, chat, you guys didn't see that. I did not know that that was not finished. Oh my God. This is the first time I'm ever seeing that. Um, so what happened was somebody came and stole all the blocks. It was probably the wandering trader. Um, <laughs> that was, um, not planned. That was not planned for you guys to see that. Anyways. So here's some small villagers. <laughs> this one sells mending and respiration. And this one has silk touch and smite. And this one has efficiency, and this one has looting and fortune. And this one has looting three, and this one's empty because I don't have a, I don't have a villager for that one yet, but we will eventually. And then these ones are stick traders. Um, that was very embarrassing. I'm so sorry, chat. I did not know that that was gonna, <laughs> that that was uh, visible. I completely forgot if I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I blame Lona. It, it's probably Lona's fault, to be honest. There we go. Actually, I think a bunch of this hill is going to have to go too. So, oh, this is, oh my God, so satisfying. So satisfying. Not very girly pop, TBH. <laughs> Mia, welcome in. How's it going? Sorry, sorry, chat. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. Not Sky coming out of deep lurk to be like, when is it not Lona's fault? <laughs> when Lona was just trying to get Sky's attention so badly. Which mod is the lantern from? Like these lanterns? These are from Macaw's Lights and Lamps on Forge. I think that there's also a fabric version. I think the, the whole Macaws suite has like a forge and a fabric version for both. A 
thought we were friends. <laughs> Not the hamster. Just joined the live. Hope it's going well. It's going great. So far we have went mining for some resources and we are just slowly lighting up a pathway and thinking about where we're going to put builds for our future projects, our future long plays or our future live streams here in this world. Um, oh, bruh, come on. The causes in the birds. Yeah, I mean, it's spelled the same way. Holly, welcome back. Real friends blame each other. Okay, chat, I have to know. With your closest friends, do you guys blame each other for silly things? Like, not, not in a serious way, but in a silly way. Do you guys do that as well? Genuine question, is there a reason why you jump when attacking mods? Or yes. Or when I when attacking mobs. Um, so on Java edition, when you jump, you can crit. It's all it's like about timing, but most of the time when you jump, you can just hit a critical hit, which will like for this mob do a, like a one-shot kill. Um, that's why I jump. It does more damage, basically. So that, when I didn't jump, it did three hearts to that creeper. But when I do jump, hold on, let's go see. Let's find another one. There's one over here. So when we did jump, it did half his health. So it does a little bit more damage. Sometimes it's not always like super necessary, but I try to stay in the habit of always jump hitting because in hardcore, I don't ever want to die because I didn't do enough damage to something, you know? Oh, bruh. You know, I really appreciate how you respond to literally every single one of us with actual care. We never feel left out. It's really sweet. <gasps> Stop. Thank you. I try my best. I mean, the only reason that I stream is because you guys are here and you guys make streaming fun. It would not be fun if I was just sitting here talking to myself, which I do constantly all the time anyways. So thank you guys for being here and thank you guys for being part of the journey and stopping in and saying hello and watching the content uh without without you guys i wouldn't i wouldn't be doing this so pat pat on the back for chat did i see a creeper out here i blame shade for everything as you should i think it's blockdown's fault so true actually let's start blaming blockdown and soon, chat, you guys are going to have all new reasons to blame Blockdown. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> cryptic, um, <clears throat> cryptic, uh, spoiler for everything that may be coming in the future. <clears throat> Anyways, <gasps> there was a creeper. I knew I saw one. Come here, you silly little. No, stop, Mystical. I will, I will start crying. I, I'm not prepared for the amount of like love you guys have given to me today. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here we go. We'll connect this up over here. So then we have this area is a little bit weird. A little bit kind of like wide, but that's okay. We can kind of fix it, I think. I'm gonna need lore on the blockdown feud. There's no lore. Blockdown, like 
genuinely i don't know why me and blockdown are at war with each other because he's actually like one of my one of my greatest friends but ever since the um bloodlines smp we have been truly just enemies frenemies you know what i mean but actually like i'd do anything for that guy but don't tell don't tell like content frog you know what i mean I misclicked. No worries, uh, Kiana. No worries. No, no judgment. It happens to all of us. One time I was watching a streamer um, that I really like and I was typing in what I thought I was typing in Discord and I said, I have to go potty uh, because I was typing to my partner, but I accidentally typed it in my one of my favorite streamers chats and he read it out loud. And then he said... <laughs> Why are you telling me that? And I like literally I left and I've never went back. I've I've never been back. I can't I can't face it. I can't face the shame. <laughs> that would happen. I know it would happen to me. It's just like it's literally written in my character design that if something's kind of like weird, it will happen to me. <laughs> Back just in time to say that you are incredibly, or you are an incredible YouTuber and streamer and I'm so happy to have found your channel. Stop. I will, I will literally start crying like at any moment. You guys want me to cry? If you hate me, you can just say that. Okay, I just, if you hate me, you can just say that. I know I miss the Bloodlines SP so much. I had a, such a fun time. But hopefully you guys like the new project that's coming because I gotta say, if you enjoyed me and Blockdown's feud, maybe you'll enjoy this new thing that's coming. And I don't know, maybe if you guys have never watched Blockdown before, maybe you'll find a new content creator that you really like. I love Blockdown. He's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. I would have deleted my Twitch account. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine, Keanu, that would... Honestly, I should have. All I... I just remember saying, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And then I just left. <laughs> That's all I said. I just said, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I wonder if that streamer still thinks about me. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if that streamer remembers that was the worst moment that I've had on the internet. I almost passed out in front of my favorite actress. Oh my God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cassandra, you got to tell us the story. You got to tell us the story, love. Because like, okay, first of all, how did you meet your favorite actress? And how did you almost pass out? Because I would remember that for a long time, honestly. I want to join in on the love and encouragement. So love you so much, Frog. Thank you for the amazing content. I love watching your videos, commentary or not. I hope you're doing great. <gasps> Mio, stop. That's so sweet as well. I'm going to literally start crying. You guys are so nice. Genuinely, I know every YouTuber says that they have like the best community, but like genuinely we we have the best community chat. Like it's not, if it was a competition, you guys won years ago. Well, it, it's not lore based mystical. It's not lore based, but there is something that's going to be happening. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know if lore based is the way for like SMP content as much. At least in our current state, like I've enjoyed like light lore, but sometimes the role playing is a little bit hard, you know? Uh, but I, I'm not I'm not gonna say we'll never do it again. We might do it someday Bing blink twice if you're being forced to say that by blockdown um, 
Legally, I can't confirm or deny what I did. Yeah, no worries. Have a good one, Florally. I'll see you on Sunday. Oh, that. speaking of which, chat, if you guys are interested, I am doing a 12-hour stream on Sunday on Twitch. We're going to be playing some cozy, comfy Minecraft over on Twitch. It's going to be fun. It won't be this world. It'll be my Twitch world, which is a little bit different. But if you guys are interested, if you guys want to see more content, you can do exclamation part uh, Twitch in the chat. And then you should be able to get my Twitch link from that. But I will say, if you guys do come over to the Twitch, I do swear on Twitch. Um, so just keep that in mind. I do say the F word. Um, so it's not as family friendly over there. The street lamps are such a good addition. Yeah, it's so, they're so good. I genuinely love the street lamps so much. Nothing spectacular. I went to the German Comic Con to meet Gwendolyn Christie. She taught me a lot about not conforming to the standards of society. I wouldn't be here without her today. Oh, I was nervous to meet her and almost passed out in front of her and cried. I love that though. Okay, that was really, really sweet. I, okay, I'm glad it wasn't like you were passing out because of the heat or something, you know? That is so, so sweet. I'm so glad that you got the chance to meet her. The only F word we know over on Twitch is fun. Um, fun and frustration. No, but that that is just a warning because I know some people watch with their kids or some people have, you know, the younger folks watching with them. I'm just saying, you know, I do say some not family friendly words over on Twitch. I try to keep most of my YouTube content clean or I'll beep it. Um, but I um on Twitch, I'm a little bit more unhinged. Is it Sunday your time? Yeah, yeah. So it'll be 7 a.m. my time to 7 p.m. my time. So basically, um, three hours ago, whatever time that was for you, um, it'll be 12 hours before that, <laughs> which is, sorry, that's just a really bad way to think about it. <laughs> I apologize. If you guys are in the Discord, there's a Discord event, um, exclamation point Discord, or you can go to discord.gg slash frogcrafting. There is a Discord event and it will show in your local time. Or if you go to my Twitch schedule page, there will be a um, a like full event page that has, or it'll, it'll have it in my local time as well. Are you almost done? We're getting there. We are, we are almost done. I don't, we've had to terraform so much as well. Um, I don't know if we'll be fully done from today. I mean, it, the problem is that I went mining for too long, but I got so excited, okay, because I have fortune. So I was like, oh, we can just get a bunch of stuff. I know it's your job, but how do you come up with so many ideas for so many worlds? Um, I build a lot in my spare time in like a creative flat world. But also a lot of my build ideas are just like ideas I've already done, but just with like a different twist, if that makes sense. So like a lot of the time when you make a new world, you have to, you know, first make your house and then you make, you know, your enchanting area, you make farms, you make an iron farm, you make, you know, an animal barn. You just kind of do all that stuff and then you learn different things each time you do it. And then you can sort of like create new ideas just from your old ideas if that makes sense at least for me that's how it's worked also like there's no shame in having like references or using um inspiration from other builders or other sources as well even in my new video that's coming out in a couple weeks i um i credit to someone that i was really inspired by for my build in that video as well How do you stay motivated to keep going on in your worlds? That is a really good question. I honestly think that making content has really helped me um, because I used to like world dump a lot, but also some things like um, choosing a seed beforehand 
and picking out an area that I want to live beforehand, that has helped me a lot. Um, because I feel like I used to give up on my worlds because I wouldn't know where to live and I didn't know where to go and I would just like hate it. But once I started seed searching, that helped so much. Oh my gosh, it'll be two in the morning for you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bean, but I'll be alive for 12 hours. So if you come in a little bit later, it won't be that bad. But no pressure, no pressure, chat. If you guys do come in uh, a little bit later or partway through the stream, no worries. You know, I appreciate if you come in at all, let alone for, you know, you don't have to be there for the whole thing. But yeah, I mean, some people don't want to look up stuff on like seed map or chunk base or whatever, but I mean, you can always just look at the terrain without looking at, you know, the structures that are around. And I think that that has helped me a thousand percent towards liking my Minecraft worlds a lot more. I've noticed that I don't abandon as many worlds as I used to since I started like picking out seeds and, you know, started planning things in advance as planning is a huge part of how I stay in one world for so long. All right. So we've got like this little part and maybe this little part and I mean, I'm I'm quite happy with the shape of this chat. I mean, we could always move it later if it doesn't fully work with the idea we have. But I think this is going to be really, really good because we're going to be able to bring off so many little like pathways and stuff off of this. Why are you here again? Cattails. I feel like those are the, what those are in the water over there. Where were they? Over there. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Please leave me alone. I'm just a baby, please. So what I do, Koopy, is I think about where I might want to live and then I search on seed map for like biomes that are within like a thousand blocks of spawn so that way it's not super hard to get there that i want to live in and then when i find a seed that has like a big enough biome for the project that i want to do um then I, I i actually take the seed and i go into a creative world and i just walk around and look at like the terrain and if it, the terrain is good then i'll go into it that's actually how i pick my seeds for my long play worlds as well How do you free cam? It's a mod. Um, I have a free cam mod. It's literally just called free cam. And you can just leave your body and then like fly through stuff. I mean, you could use it to cheat, but I don't. I just look at builds and stuff with it. How can I use CIT packs with Oculus? Does it still work? Um, I don't know because Oculus is a forge mod. Um, I don't know how CITs work on forge. I've never used them on forge. I've only ever used them on fabric. All right, let me sleep. Hey, Glee, um, can you come here for a moment if you don't mind? If you're if you're not busy, I know that you were doing some gaming with the guys. Um, there we go. One sec, chat.
chat give me give me like two seconds sorry i'm gonna go for a little bit longer than my normal time today but i um i have to go use the little froggy's room so i will be right back everyone have a good little breaky give me like two minutes and then i'll be back Okay, sorry everyone, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you all. Sorry, you probably also heard villager noises in the background. I don't think that Bedrock has any good mods for leaves because the way that leaves work on Bedrock is completely different, but I don't know. Hannah, welcome in. Mushroom, welcome in. How you doing? All right, we're going to finish up our pathway over on this side. This side is going to be a little bit um a little bit uh tougher, I think. Where did I put all of those? Oh, I didn't make them. <laughs> Silly me, I did not make them. There we go. Oh, I like this song. This song is also nice. If 
if you were in po the Pokemon world, would you be a trainer or have any other professions? Um, I, I would like to think that I would be a gym leader. Um, and I would have... I don't know. I feel like I would have a fairy team like Sylveon. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Well, no, I'd probably have a dragon team because Altaria was my favorite Pokemon for so, so long. And I feel like there are so many cool dragon Pokemon like Altaria, Dragonite, that kind of vibes, you know? Hi, Simply. Welcome in. That's a very good question, though, uh, Mystical. Also, I don't know why, but, like, I really love Gengar as well. I, like, I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to be a gym leader, you know what I mean? Because I, I have so many different Pokemon that I like. I love Lucario. Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon. There is just so, there's so many good ones. The rain is giving loft cabin by the lake vibes. Oh, I love that. Maybe at some point we'll do a raining long play in this world and then it'll just like rain the entire time. I have Pokemon Sword. Oh, nice. I have, um, I've played all of them except for Sword and Shield. Um, I have Violet. I have, um, Sun and Moon. I have, um, Black and White, Ruby, Emerald. I've, I've played pretty much all of them. Diamond, Platinum. Pokemon was like the first video game I ever, ever played. I mean, besides like my, my grandparents had like old Sega games and stuff. Like I remember playing Sonic like a really, really long time ago. Um, on their little console that they had. <gasps> Rapidash is so good. Agree. Agree. Rapidash is so girly pop actually. I love Pokemon Legends. So was that one good? Pokemon Legends Arceus? I have it, but I have never played um, because I, well, at the time I was really, really into Animal Crossing when I got it and I played like a thousand animal hours of Animal Crossing. I'm not gonna lie. That, that like when, when quarantine first happened, um, I played so much Animal Crossing and then I took a break and then I came back and I played even more Animal Crossing. <laughs> Did we all go through that like New Horizons Animal Crossing phase? Was that just me? And if you guys did go through that phase, tell me what was the name of your first island that you made in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Mine was named Blossom. Oh, I'm running out of dirt again. Well, luckily we'll get to remove some of this. Flaffy and Butterfly. Oh my god, I love Flaffy. On Pokemon Go, I have a shiny Flaffy mystical and it, it, she is my pride and joy. Mine was named a toot, like a, like a fart sound. I love that actually. Oh, it's a thunderstorm, by the way. Let me, uh, let me go sleepies. I still play Animal Crossing. I would love to play Animal Crossing again, but I genuinely am so burned out. I don't know if I could ever play it again. Like I restarted my island and ever since then I have never forgiven myself and I've never played. I was heartbroken that I betrayed my island of Blossom. My knit was named Flower Sea. I love that. Oasis. I love that too. Panini, I Panini Land. Oh, that's adorable. Did anyone else see the comic where the Eevee evolved into Sylveon and got yelled at? No, I've never seen that. <gasps> that was so sad. What? 
Somebody didn't want a Sylveon? They wanted an Umbreon? I mean, Sylveon is so cute though. Like, hello? In Pokemon, I think it was X and Y. I literally got my Eevee to level nine and it evolved into a Sylveon, like no joke. Cause I was, I was like increasing my friendship with that Eevee as much as I possibly could. My island was called Butterscotch. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. I love that. I had a bunny once named Butterscotch. He was a, he was a good lad. The map mod, the one that's in the corner, is that part of a mod pack or does it have a single name? It's called Zero's uh, mini map. It's not part of a mod pack, uh, mod pack, but it is for Java only. I don't think that there's a Bedrock version if you're on Bedrock. I don't remember if you are or not. Katuk says, hello, I'm new in this YouTube channel. What's your name? You can call me Frog. Welcome in. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the YouTube stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <gasps> Blue Marines, welcome back. How you doing, love? All right, here we go. Leo says, mine was named um, Sudonku um, Island, which is a Japanese work meaning to buy books and let them. Oh, it's a Japanese word. Sorry. Meaning to buy books and let them pile up. I love that without reading them. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. I have one of those, too. Um, <laughs> my to be read list, but the, the Japanese word for it is much, much prettier. No worries, Kenny Gap. Welcome back. I just took my dog out for a walk. Oh my gosh, that is lovely. I'm so glad that you're having a nice day. The weather is nice. I took my puppy for a walk earlier as well. And he, um, he, we were having a great time. And then he barked at a little kid. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is how we're, we're doing it now. No worries, Mystical. Have a great rest of your day, love. Thanks so much for the chatting. I hope you have a good rest of your week and I hope you enjoyed the new video on um, this weekend. Also chat, um, <clears throat> just keep a lookout on the community posts tomorrow. Maybe you'll get like a little spoiler about what's to come. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I heard that that was happening, but I don't know. I, I just work here. So we'll do something like that. This is fine for now. Obviously this will have to change in the future because this whole part right here is just a little bit weird. Actually, maybe I can fix some of this by doing a little bit of shaping. Do you guys remember that TikTok audio that was like, just it's a little shaping. No worries, Hungry Panda. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, another wandering traitor. Dude, why are you so obsessed with me? Okay, but like, do you guys agree that there's a lot of wandering traders that come into this world? Like, I'm sorry, but there's like just so many of them. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, the to the salon and the Barbie sound. Yeah, that was such a fun audio. 
I always loved seeing people's hair transformations, you know, using that audio. I th it was so cool. Oh gosh, not all the dirt falling down. Wait, I need all of you come back. All right, let's um get all of that covered up again. All right, so then we'll have to come up here. This is gonna have to go, I'm sorry, but this is not working for me champ yo semi welcome in how's it going are you gonna make a pathway across the island um well we're we're doing basically a pathway around uh the lake because i want to basically fill out the edges of this pathway with a bunch of builds and have just like a little lakeside um kind of like not a town well maybe i guess you could call it a town um, I just want to have like a little lakeside kind of village thing that, I don't know, I'm kind of excited for. It's still very much in the early stages though. I mean, we have only had a couple of episodes in this world for like the big builds and there's a lot that I want to do. I want to have like a greenhouse florist kind of store. I want to have a bakery, a wine store, and like a vineyard, you know, I, I want to do a bunch of stuff in this world, so... Eventually, we will get there. Right now, we're just, uh, you know, doing doing the, the easier kind of chat, um, like chores that allow me to chat, basically. I saw red leaves on the map. Does this world have modded trees? It does. There's um, lots of different modded trees. So these are like redwood trees over here. And then there's like um jacarandos over here um and then we've got a, just a bunch of different like random trees like there's a bunch of rainforest kind of trees um one of them is even right here this like pink tree also yes this completely grew by itself that way <laughs> i don't know why but there's like an auto replant saplings mod i can't figure out which mod is doing it and for some reason it planted two saplings like that on top of each other there we go get rid of all of that So this is going to have to go back. I think this is going to have to go. Oh yeah, night winning. I'm leaving it there. It's it's so cursed that like I don't want to remove it because I feel like it would be doing like a disservice to the tree. It is so cursed. I love it though, you know? It's one of those things that's like a good kind of cursed. I'm making a path right now. Do you have any tips? Um, Honestly, the biggest tip that I can give you for pathways is to like try to think about it realistically. You don't want to have just like a straight path going around because that's not how you walk in real life either. You kind of, you know, take different steps every time but you want to have like general a general kind of like main pathway um and i like to kind of you know change it up like sometimes i'll have like a little bit of a straight section but then i'll like you know add in a couple of little extra spots i don't know i think that helpful um sometimes i like to change out my paths completely but right now i'm just doing path block because i don't have a ton of resources and i want to use mud for these paths eventually i want to do like mud and uh, mud bricks and stuff and yeah I just don't I don't have the stuff for it yet um but also looking up like path inspo on like Pinterest or Instagram um I think is super super helpful because if you don't have the right path for your for your like um civilization or your area it can definitely throw off like the balance of all your builds and stuff
But I mean, it's all like personal preference at the end of the day. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I love the lavender ones. They are pretty good, aren't they? Oh my gosh, okay, the, we're we're having a frog crafting backpack moment. Where's the bingo card? Do you have mud farms? I don't, but we might end up making one. I mean, I, I think that we're not that super far away from a mangrove swamp, so we can always go over to the mangrove swamp as well. And that's not a big deal. Alfie, Sunday we're having we're having a frog crafting bingo and it's gonna it's gonna be I'm 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 very curious to see who's gonna win. I feel like the entire chat will probably win first. Someone brings up wings. Oh my god. Frog backpacks are wild. Okay, well, we can't all be perfect, Lona. Lona and her perfect backpacks and her perfect storage. What's it feel like to be God's favorite? Are you able to get mods for Bedrock? I mean, Bedrock has add-ons, which are sort of like mods, but also different. Um, They're a little bit more limited in what they can do. Um, although, I mean, they, they just got the create mod on Bedrock, although I heard it's a little bit buggy still. Um, I, I definitely prefer the modding scene on Java, although that, that being said, I've never played modded on Bedrock. I just, I, I just don't play Bedrock though. That's the only reason that I don't play, um, modded on Bedrock. Otherwise I probably would as well. I'm going out for dinner on Sunday for my dad's 70th. Oh my gosh. Happy early birthday to him. 70 years is a long time. I hope you guys are going to have the best time celebrating such an amazing accomplishment, getting to 70 years old. Okay. That's about all of the... No? See, it just auto-replanted chat. Um... There we go. We're just gonna add a couple of torches around here. Am I the only one who has a strong hatred for tall Minecraft grass? I don't mind it in like a lush field, but I don't normally have it in front of like my house because I feel like it looks like you don't mow your lawn. Which is not a big deal to me, but I just don't prefer the aesthetic of it for like most of my builds. Although sometimes, I mean, sometimes it works. My birthday gift came a new um, seat cushion for my chair. Let's go. Oh my God, that's amazing. I love that. I need one of those too, I think. I've spent a lot of time in this chair recently and I like it's a very comfortable chair but oh my gosh I want to be the ultimate version of cozy comfy minecraft streamer Okay, so this part is a little bit weird, so we'll just add in some extra little bits and bends here. That way it looks a little bit less straight, I guess. 
And I think eventually when we move this whole hill back, um, I'll eventually move that probably this way and have more space up in the front here. Because right now it's pretty close on most of the sides to the actual lake, which is not a huge deal. But in some places, like over here, I think it would be good to have like a little dock with maybe like a little house or like a little fishing hut or something down here. And I just I just don't know if we have enough space for that. But at least it's um at least the pathway is in, which is um huge W's because I'm I did not think that we were gonna get all of that done today. I actually have the Minecraft creeper chair right now. Sky, that's the that's the chair I have. I'm doing good, Sugang. Hope you're also doing good. So we'll put some extra torches down just for a little bit of extra protection. I really love this actually. I mean, it still needs a lot of work, but it has it has the bare minimum. And we did a lot of terraforming today as well. A lot of terrain work was done. Like all of this was not as nice as it is now. And over here, this was just like a big hole. So we just completely like re-changed this, which I absolutely love. All right, though, chat, I think that's going to be it for today's video or today's stream, not today's video. I'm I, I've been recording. If you couldn't tell, I've oh, my gosh. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think that'll be it for today. I hope you guys had a really, really good time. Um, if you guys want to join the discord, feel free to um, join the discord if you want to. No pressure to. Um, I also am going to be live, like I said, on Twitch this weekend for a 12 hour stream on Sunday. If you guys want to follow over on Twitch, no pressure. If you guys aren't comfortable with Twitch, um, just remember the streams over there are not family friendly. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for the donos today. And thank you guys for all the chats. I had so, so, so much fun with you all. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you next Wednesday for some more modded Clovervale action. Remember, check the community post tomorrow and maybe new video this weekend. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Bye.